Hi guys, Heath from Harrop, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We've got our Toyota 86, or the BRZ, or FRS as it's known in some other countries, and we want to do a comparison to the standard car. We've been getting lots of interest. We've got our resident wheelman and chassis expert, James, with us. What do you think? Mate, it's a beautiful morning down here, southeastern Victoria, the Haunted Hill Circuit, perfectly suited to a car like this. Great little chassis, really nimble. Obviously our car's got a little few modifications on it. I reckon we just get in the car, give it a run, see how it goes. Let's do it. In reality, even in standard trim, these things are really nice cars to drive. So obviously with some of the cool mods that we have on this particular model, this thing is a heap of fun. Great brakes, I mean, and really most importantly, this engine, this is what it's all about. The, uh, the FA20, the two litre boxer motor, naturally aspirated in standard trim, but obviously the reason we're here today is to test out that awesome supercharger kit that we've made for it, mate. What, uh, tell us a bit more about it. What sort of power are we making out of this thing? So fully developed and manufactured at Harrop and tested on our in-house chassis dyne, we saw around 115 kilowatts at the hub standard. And with the supercharger, that went up to over 180, so pretty substantial, over a 50% increase. And the great thing about these cars with E85, that goes from 180 to around 205, so fantastic gains just with the fuel. That's absolutely massive. I mean, especially over the standard engine output, that's, that's phenomenal sort of increases we're looking at there and really transforms the car. And, and that's the great thing about these cars. You know, it's a nice platform to make these sort of modifications on. It's a reasonably cheap vehicle to begin with. It gives you a bit of room to move, a bit of money to throw at the thing later on and, and turn it into your own little machine. That low down throttle response is really what the standard car's missing, and this thing just has that in absolute truckloads. Nice and linear though, you know, very much unlike a turbocharged engine, it's that really linear throttle response all the way through the range, which makes, you know, it makes the car easy to drive, you know. If you're going to increase the torque and the power of any vehicle, you need to increase the brakes proportionally. And uh, we haven't mucked around on this particular one, we've gone all out with the biggest and meanest brake kit that we do, which is the Ultimates, that six piston front caliper, four piston rear, absolutely as large as we can possibly fit underneath these wheels. Well, I think we should get in the standard car. Let's do some laps and compare the two. I reckon it's a great idea. Let's go and see what goes on. So, JB, we're pretty fortunate. John's been good enough to lend us his 86. I'm not sure I'd lend my car to us, but uh, no, it was very nice of him to uh, allow us to do this in his vehicle. It's, uh, it's a good thing to be able to compare the stock vehicle to our Harrop enhanced one. So, uh, let's see what it does. There's no denying though, the balance from the factory is pretty special. It is, it is a well-balanced chassis indeed. It's a, it's a good thing, it's the perfect platform to build upon. Um, it's an easy car to drive. Most people can really get out on the track and have a good lot of fun with this in, in, in relative safety. It'd be great to get John's feedback. We've got him in the Harrop 86 at the moment and to get a comparison to how that feels to him compared to his standard car will be really interesting. Somehow I think he's gonna have a whole heap of fun. Just putting it out there, I reckon uh, with the amount of grip that that car's got, the extra horsepower is going to have an absolute ball and I'm, I think we might have a new customer by the end of the day, mate. So John, you've had a few laps in our 86, we've been driving yours around, what do you think of the enhanced version? Oh, it's just the power and torque is just everywhere, um, I can't get over the difference there. And the car's still beautifully balanced, it's just better on, on another level, you know what I mean? Yeah, maintaining that balance has been important and we've really tried to keep the integrity there but just make it, as you say, better everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's great. It stops and, and mid-corner's great. It's awesome. Amazing. We sold a supercharger? <laughs> I think so. Alright JB, we've got the stock 86, it's lap time. Let's do this thing mate, let's see what this car can put out in its standard form with our awesome cheese cutter tyres on it. Naturally aspirated um, and probably lots of traction control action I dare say. Kick the shiny side up. Not bad mate, you definitely got the line sorted. 1.5 faster, so a 1093. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I think with a few more laps I could probably knock a second or two off there, but uh, I think the car's pretty good. It's, it's a lot of in-between second and third gear around this track, so it's kind of hard to tell. Second always sounds faster, but I'm pretty sure third is probably actually quicker. It smells warmed up. It definitely is. <laughs> All right, let's jump in the Harrop car and see what it does. Let's do it. 
up, mate? Stepping up to the Harrop 86, ready? Yeah, I'm excited, mate. I think this thing's gonna be fast around here. I think we're gonna really need this extra grip. The brakes are definitely gonna be worthwhile here, and, uh, well, the supercharger goes without saying, you can't beat it. All right, let's see what Apple says. Let's do it. Yeah, I just love the ability of this vehicle just to throw it at a corner. It's so neutral and so predictable. You can just come into the corner and you can actually just really lean on it. And I think that's what will really appeal to a lot of people, is just the ability. You don't have to be the best driver in the world to get out there and actually have a lot of fun. It felt good. It, this thing has so much more grip. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Through the change of direction, it's just it's a completely different car. Very similar balance, but the grip levels are just so much higher, and uh, you actually have to really be careful with the throttle coming into those tight turns. It's uh, it's definitely a lot more fun to drive. Um, it, it feels faster, but honestly, I have no idea how much quicker we went. Well, certainly consistent lap one to lap two. Both laps were exactly five seconds faster. So we did a 105.5 and then a 1042. So consistent and clearly a lot faster than the stock 86. I think we've got more we can improve. We could definitely improve. Given that I've only done actually about four laps around this track now, I think with a few more laps under my belt, I might know where I'm going. But uh, I was pretty happy with that. All right, John, the weather's turned a little bit ugly here at Haunted Hills. The ground's a little bit wet. We're in your stock 86. Little motor car to challenge to finish the day off. Let's see how it goes. Sure the tyres are struggling. Kept it clean into the box. Well done, 14.5. Now for the expression session outtake. Okay, John, we're in the Harrop 86. I've got to confess, you've done a little bit of drifting, so you know your way around witches' hats. Let's see how it runs. I'll get the stopwatch ready when you're ready. Thirteen dead, actually twelve ninety nine. So we're a full second and a half quicker. Okay, JB, the weather's come in, it's rainy, it's windy. We got the track session done, five seconds faster than the standard 86. Did a motor carna with John, second and a half over a 15 second lap. Pretty good results. Very impressive indeed. Had a lot of fun, a lot of action here today. I think it was a great day. Should do it again. Absolutely.